Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Out and about on another Triumph review in uh, the environs of Hell Hempstead as ever. And today I'm riding the brand new for 2018 Triumph Tiger 800 XRT. This is the uh, top of the range on road focused uh, version of the bike. And uh, if you stick around and stay tuned for the next few minutes, I'll give you my first impressions review of this splendid machine. So when I say my first impressions review of this splendid machine, <laughs> I'm uh, being a little disingenuous there because I have ridden Triumph Tiger 800s before. In fact, last year, uh, Triumph UK were kind enough to lend me a Tiger 800 for a couple of weeks and I really got to know the bike. But that was the old model before they did all these updates and uh, changes that they've done for the 2018 model year. So this has got uh, over 100 changes to the engine and gearbox. It's got a much shorter first gear. It's got now got the TFT screen. It's got uh, all sorts of uh, changes on it, including things like an adjustable windscreen, some different aero deflectors, and all kinds of stuff on here. So looking forward to uh, seeing how this compares to the older bike as I ride it over the next hour or so. So before we get into all the nitty gritty of the changes, uh, let's just go through some of the practical aspects of the bike in case uh, you're not uh, familiar with the Tiger 800. It is of course an adventure style machine. Now, I said this is the XRT, which is uh, Trump's uh, top of the range sort of on-road focus machine. It's the XC's that are the off-roady bikes and uh, I don't pretend to understand how that nomenclature works. That's a great word isn't it? <laughs> but it seems pretty complicated to me but anyway go with it. The XRT is the top of the range road one. And when you jump on the first thing that uh, hit me at least was just the comfortable nature of this bike. It's nice and low you can get your feet straight on the deck and it feels lightweight unlike pretty much every other big adventure bike that I've ridden. It does feel very familiar the riding position though. The sort of triangle of hands, bum and feet feels exactly like my GS does so it feels very familiar riding position. You're sitting nice and upright and it's just somewhere you could be for hours and hours if you're on a tour and let's face it this is the sort of bike that's going to be used I guess mainly for touring. So the seat on this very comfortable, nice and soft padding. I think uh, you're not going to have any issues on that, uh, you know, after hours on the motorway. Nice big mirrors on here. A bit of massive old stalks are on, but they do work beautifully well. I can see very well behind me, which is uh, what we want mirrors to do. Instrumentation wise, this has got the uh, TFT that we're now really familiar with on Triumph machines. This is the same as that on the Street Triple. We first saw it, we've seen it on the Speed Triple, and now here also on the big Tiger 1200s as well. And now, of course, on the uh, 2018 800 Tigers. It's controlled with this little joystick here on the left, which is uh, relatively intuitive to use. The only issue I find with it, and I found this with all the Triumphs that have this TFT, is that uh, joystick gets a bit confused, in my mind at least, with the indicator button. Uh, until you're used to it, until it's in sort of thumb muscle memory, I, uh, I tend to hit the indicator when I mean the joystick and vice versa. Which is a bit of a nuisance, but I guess that's just something you'll get used to. The suspension on here is just in that Goldilocks zone. It's not too hard, not too soft. And I'm assuming this one hasn't had any adjustments done, it's just as it comes out of the factory as it's the demo bike. And it just feels nice, the handling on this is nice and light. There's nothing threatening about this bike at all. Now one of the changes that Triumph made for the 2018 model year is that the engine now spins up quicker, I guess it's got some lighter internals. And it definitely feels more sprightly than the uh, older models that I've ridden. Right, I'm just going to test the brakes, just check behind, there's nothing behind me. Right, front brake. Okay, front brake I would say is adequate, it's not, uh, it's not stunning, it's not like uh, the Brembo stoppers you get on things like the Speed Triple that absolutely, you know, bulge your eyes out when you pull them on. But they work, let me just try the back brake, there's still nothing behind us. Now the back brake's actually pretty good. Very flickable through here. Great sound off the triple engine as ever. Triumph the masters of course of the triple. Brilliant engine configuration in my book. You know some of the character of the twins but the uh, the sound of the of the four cylinder almost. You no know, it's that kind of it's a good compromise between the two. Clutch on this is nice and light. Gearbox feels nice and positive. Ah 
Uh, who needs a white van when you can have a brown one instead? Brilliant. Or is it black? Oh, the joys of riding in the southeast UK. It's the middle of the day on a Wednesday. Look at this. I'm on this road in the countryside, but it's stuffed full of traffic basically. There's little point in overtaking. I'm going to be turning off soon anyway. As soon as you overtake the van, you're stuck behind another car. It's rubbish. If you, ever th if you don't live in the UK and you're thinking of coming here for a biking holiday, don't bother going to the southeast. Actually, now I'm in a whingy mood. <laughs> Something I don't like about the bike is as you sit here and you're looking at the uh, the screen and the instruments, etc. I'm not too keen on what you see at the back here. Trav just left this kind of all open in a fairly utilitarian way. And I don't know, there's just something about this that seems like it's missing something. I think they could have done a bit of, put some sort of plastic here somehow to cover this up a bit. And just made it look a bit neater behind there. I guess they've just left it like that because it's a utilitarian bike and it saves weight and all the rest of it. But uh, it's a bit ugly what you're looking at there to my eyes. It's a bit of a silly thing, it's a personal thing. But uh, I remember thinking that from, uh, from the previous Tigers that I've ridden. Oh, there's a bit of rain in the air, this isn't quite the ticket, it's meant to be summertime. Another change on this bike is it's now got a, an adjustable screen. You can adjust this five ways. It's on this sort of rocker arrangement. You can do it on the fly, as you can see. Quite easy to do. They've also added some extra sort of aero deflectors as well, just to give you a bit better wind protection. And on this road, doing a paltry 46 miles an hour, I'm not being buffeted about by wind or anything like that. The protection seems okay. A bit later on, hopefully I'll go on a bit of a faster road and we can try that a bit more earnestly. Excellent, I'm away from the traffic and onto one of my favourite little bits of road up towards Ash Ridge. And well, <laughs> if you open up the taps, the Tiger's got no lucky go. Sounds amazing that triple engine. Love it. Right, we better ease off. Cyclist about and we're coming into a 40 zone. Yeah, very nice. I mean, uh, these days we're in this cycle aren't we with bikes having bigger and bigger engines and more and more horsepower. This being an 800 for me has got all the power you need on the road and indeed off. You know, you always want more power don't you, you can never have too much. But if by having say a 1200 or 1250cc engine on an adventure bike means that bike gets so heavy you can't move it around, it's not agile and you don't feel comfortable riding it then it's kind of defeating the object. This on the other hand has plenty of power and plenty of go, but just does not feel heavy at all. I don't know if they've actually shaved weight off the 2018 model uh, compared to the previous ones, but it definitely feels a lot lighter than I remember the previous Tiger 800s I've ridden. Handles very, very nicely indeed. Okay, now I've discovered a new sort of looped route for these test rides near Hemel Hempstead. I'm not gonna stop at my usual walk around spot, which is just there by the wheelie bin. We're going to continue on here to Ash Ridge and uh, park up in one of the car parks here and uh, I'll show you around the bike and talk you through the spec. It's quite a splendid uh, ride round here. I don't know why I haven't done this before. I had, uh, I've had a few comments actually. I can't remember who it's from so I do apologise from viewers that have said, uh, you know, why didn't you carry on going on that route because you can end up doing a good loop round Burke Hampstead and uh, on the A41 it's a good test for the bike. So uh, thank you to whoever suggested that, gave me the uh, courage to give it a try and as you're right it's turned out to be a, uh, a great little test route for the bike, or any bike, because it does cover a bit of everything, a bit of twisted, some fast roads, some slower stuff, some town work, just what you need on a test ride. Anyway, up here somewhere on the left, I know there is a little car park that I can pull into, should be ideal for the walk around, just give you a little clean, a little bit, little bit of rain in the air, I hope you can see, okay. Right, let's just pull in here, which looks an ideal spot to have a look around the bike. And don't say I didn't take it off-road either, okay? <laughs> no, just here should do nicely. Neutral, nice and easy to find. Big old chunky stand. There we go. Right, here she is, 2018. 
Triumph Tiger 800 XRT. As I say, the sort of on-road, top of the range on roady bike, the off-road versions have spoke wheels and they have a beak at the front. And I personally think the beak looks a bit better. Uh, if I had one of these, I'd probably go for the on-road version, but I'd see if I could get a beak fitted just because I think it looks better. Anyway, let me uh, get the phone out and we'll do the walk around. Okay, here we go. Right, hopefully that's uh, rolling. Yep, good stuff. Okay, so here we are, as I say, the uh, Triumph Tiger 800 XRT. Loads of changes over the uh, previous model. Not least, they've added what they call premium bodywork on it, which I think is kind of these panels here. And Triumph do this great thing now with the raised lettering for the main uh, for the main Triumph logo there, which I think looks great. And the fit and finish on the bike is generally splendid, as indeed are all Triumphs these days. Uh, so let's go through the spec then. So the engine, again, all about the engine on this bike, 800cc triple engine. It's effective a board and stroked version of the engine that used to be in the street triple but it's had lots of tweaks uh, and as I say it's got a much shorter first gear now spins up quicker than before uh, really really nice puts out 94 brake horsepower ample for this uh, the mission of this sort of bike I think torque wise 79 Newton meters at 8050 rpm uh, brakes let's go around the front it's got uh, Brembo brakes on here now which I think is an addition a uh, little tiny looking uh, calipers on there uh, and they work but they're adequate they're not brilliant there are 305 mil discs on the front here and they're two pot calipers on the rear uh, it's got a 255 mil single disc with a Nissin single pot uh, caliper on there and that works actually surprisingly well uh, suspension on the front it's got uh, Showa uh, upside down forks 43 millimeters and as you can see from the top of the yokes it's all kind of get around there it's all adjustable as well so some pretty beefy suspension on there and as I say it rides really nicely. On the back it's a Showa Monoshock. Don't know if I can show you that. Can we actually see it? Uh, there we go, sitting in there, nothing special to see really. Um, crikey, this bike needs a clean. <laughs> but there we go, I suppose it is an adventure bike. Some people like them dirty. Not me, he's playing havoc with my OCD. Anyway, seat height on this, uh, 810 mil, adjustable up to 830. Uh, and try to say it's got a new seat compound in here as well to make it much more comfortable. And I have to say, as I mentioned on the ride, it is a very, very comfortable place to be. Uh, heated seat on this front and rear as well, which is a nice touch in the winter. Uh, I'm also glad while we're on that subject that this does have uh, heated grips as well. There's the little button, which is something that uh, I think all bikes in Blighty should have. All right, what else can I tell you about it? Weight-wise, 202 kilograms dry, so nice and light for this style of bike. Tank capacity holds 19 litres, which is a reasonable amount, I guess. Electronics-wise, uh, switchable ABS and traction control. Uh, it's got daylight running lights. It's got these uh, LCD lights on the front here now. In fact, I suppose really I should turn it on and show you those, shouldn't I? Let me just turn that on. <laughs> okay, and there we go. There are those DRLs. I don't know if it uh, shows up okay on this phone. They look like they're flashing a bit, but they're not in real life. They look really cool. Uh, what else? Five riding modes. It's got that uh, TFT screen, uh, as I mentioned. Uh, not had a chance to go through the riding modes, but it's got customizable riding modes as well as all the usual stuff. Let's uh, turn that off. I'll find the key. There we go. Um, what else to say? Oh, uh, looking at the switch gear here, of course we've also got traction control, which is nice on a bike like this, which could well be used for touring. Uh, price for this one on the road, £12,050 uh, for the XRT. If you want to go for the basic bike, which is known as the XR, that'll cost you 9100 Also, there are other versions available. If you are a shorty, there's an XRX low version available, uh, which again, it just makes the bike that much more accessible uh, for others, doesn't it? So there we go. I think... Uh, in a lot of ways, this makes a lot more sense than the big 1200cc uh, uh, Tiger. I really like this bike as a as a really practical, nice, lightweight, sensible, all words that people don't like, but actually makes for a nice, nice motorbike. All right, let me jump back on again then and uh, ride us some more. I love the way that when you climb on this, your feet look flat on the floor either side pretty much, and the bike just does not feel like it wants to fall over or anything silly which is not the case with many adventure bikes all right let's uh, take this beast back to its owners before i think i've run off with it which reminds me i must just say thank you very much to its owners to the guys up at uh, hearts triumph or what i call palmers uh, in hemel hempstead they're the triumph dealer for the area great bunch of chaps up there go and say hello to ben or thomas if you want to ride on a any new truck, they've got all the demos up there, give them a call. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you. Very friendly bunch. Not only that, they got free coffee and loo, so it's a great place to uh, <laughs> build into a ride out. Because you can always use it as a stop off.
got a lovely spot around here. If uh, summer would come back for a bit, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Look, it's 13 degrees, or 12 and a half degrees it is now. And it's the middle of the day in the summer. What is going on? Come on, sunshine. All right, before I get her back then, what we need to do is go and hunt out some faster roads. If I uh, go down this way, I know I'll end up in Berkhamsted and then I can uh, join the A41 for a spell. And let's see what the weather protection's like on faster roads. Such a busy place, Berkhamsted. Just like a white van convention going on here. Splendid. What a stroke of luck. See, the Tiger 800 is uh, great in traffic because it's uh, nice and high up. You feel like you've got a commanding view of the road ahead so you can see what's happening. And because it's nice and light, you can duck and dive through traffic and not feel like you're going to come a cropper. Right, let's hit the A41 then, a bit of faster dual carriageway. See how she does on a wind protection point of view. Oh look, there's a GS up ahead. So quickly up to sort of motorway dual carriageway speeds. And uh, I've got the screen in the uppermost position. And today I'm wearing my full-faced Arrow Rebel helmet. So it's not a peaked helmet. And uh, I'm quite nicely sheltered back here. I haven't got uh, much wind blast at all. A little bit of vibration around the shoulders. And a little bit on the very top of the head. But nothing too terrible. Quite noisy, but not too turbulent. Wing mirrors are looking a little bit blurred at high speed though. Loads of go for overtakes. I mean, I ride as a day-to-day -day bike, a BMW GS, as you may know, and uh, I have to say, this doesn't feel like it's got any less go. And this newly padded seat with its uh, built-in heaters, really nice touch cruise on motorways and faster roads for ages on this. No fatigue at all, very nice indeed. So there we have it, that's uh, pretty much it for my first impressions review of the 2018 Triumph Tiger 800. It's a uh, much improved bike over the previous generations. I like the old bike, but dare I say it was felt a little bit heavy and a little bit, um, maybe a bit boring, but this new bike definitely been hugely improved. If you've not ridden the new one and you were put off the previous one, have another go. Because with the improvements they've made on the engine, that shorter first gear, the engine that spins up quicker, and also the, uh, I don't know if there is actually been weight savings, but it feels a lot lighter and a lot more flickable than it used to. And it's a, it's a lovely bike to ride now and a perfect all-rounder, great for, you know, long tours or everyday riding. Then you couldn't go far wrong with the Targa uh, 800. Very nice indeed. So that's it for this time. Hope there's been of some interest to you. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Till then, this has been the Mist and Flyer. Cheerio. We're working with our partners Speedo Angels throughout July to give you 20% off the entire range of dashboard screen protectors and get yourself one extra free fitting kit when you use the discount code MISSENDEN. Just go to www.speedo-angels.com.